guys a nice challenge this week to, to go up there and six tournament teams from last year in this field. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing field of teams. I don't, I don't know if there's been, it'd be interesting to find out if there's been a, you know, a, a tougher field uh, in an eight-team preseason tournament. And, you know, and, and so it's, uh, it's something we've been looking forward to a, lot, a long time. You know, part of me at the beginning thought we were crazy doing this. Um, you know, but at the same time, it's, it's what, the, what it's all about. So um, great challenges, you know, opening against a team. We played in the tournament last year um, in Western Kentucky, a team that's won their conference back-to-back years and is used to winning a ton. And so that's a huge test. And, you know, the reward for that could potentially be South Carolina if you can get out of that one. And the reward for that could be, you know, the, the number one team in the country. And so a lot of possibilities up there, but there's a lot of great teams. And so you roll with the punches, um, you know, take it one possession at a time. Do you guys get an opportunity to watch? I know you are so focused on yourselves, but do you get a chance to watch some of those other games, or how much do you just focus on yourself and everything else is kind of just on the yeah. periphery? There? I, I'm not a believer in, you know, we just worry about us, uh, because worrying about us is who we're going to play. <laughs> and so then how can we best prepare, you know, and get our team and worry about us in, in learning what to do and who we're playing against. And so we watch as much as we can of everyone, you know, and so today is all about us, um, you know, and then we start shifting into what this game plan is going to be, you know, coming up for, for Thursday's first game. And so it's a combination, you know, I'd say it's probably 70-30, you know, as we go into the game, uh, is, is focus on us, make sure we're tight, but then skewing things that we do towards our opponent. What are, what are some of the benefits um, at playing, of playing a jam-packed tournament like this early in the season? Well, one, you get an extra game. I mean, that, that's one you know, benefit of playing a, a tournament that has you know, eight teams in it. Uh, there's an exception that gives you an extra game, and so the third one doesn't count against the 11 that we get. So we get 12 preseason games. That's awesome. Uh, the huge benefit for all of us is you, know, you look forward to the end of March, or, or end of March, I mean, not the end of March, but the Pac-12 tournament at the beginning of March, I should say, um, there's a huge benefit in, in just operating in three games in three days. Uh, there's nothing else during the year that, that does that. There's no other scenario. Every Pac-12 game, is, there's a day in between you know, each weekend. And so um, for our staff to have a, a trial run and then for our players you know, to have a, have a run at three games in three days is, is really valuable you know, that we can reflect back on, um, say, hey, we've done this before, you know, so let's do it again. So I, I think that's the... That's probably the most important thing we get out of it other than just getting to play. And this year's Western Kentucky team, what have you seen film-wise from them? What problems do they present? Well, they, a lot like last year's. They, I mean, they're athletic. Uh, they attack the rim. Uh, they change defenses. Uh, you know, they want to press you and turn you over. And so, just like last year, in some ways, it's almost a game of keep away. Um, you know, and, and if you blink for a minute, they're going to make you look silly because they're going to create a turnover. Uh, so. Uh, spacing is going to be everything for us. Um, taking care of the basketball is going to be vital, and spacing obviously helps that. You know, and so um, I'm not all the way into them like I want to be, but that's what I've seen so far. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm a stuffing guy. Stuffing. Yeah, I, I, I love stuffing. And ma- I can't mashed potatoes too. I mean, stuffing and mashed potatoes are not much of a turkey guy, you know. But I love those two things. Okay. <laughs> the classics. Yes. <laughs> you guys are giving. Do you guys do anything during the day? Do you I mean you don't really get to? You don't want to eat a big meal before you guys go out there. What? How do you guys kind of celebrate that together? And, as you guys are on that on that trip. Well, that's it. Will be a normal game day for us, you know. Unfortunately, and so um, I think just the the main thing is to pause and do what everybody's doing everywhere, and that is saying what you're thankful for, and just turning that pregame meal into you know, our pseudo Thanksgiving dinner together, you know, and so uh, it's going to be a long, those games are, those are days are long, we don't play till 8, 8.30, you know, the first day, hopefully again the next day, and then hopefully 7 uh, or 7th or whatever that last time is, 7.30 I believe, uh, for the championship, you know, so we're, we're hoping to stay up late all week.